Alright, this is Martin Drummond with Progressive Democratic Party Headquarters News. It's uh, Tuesday, February 26, 2019. So here is the uh, tweet that people are talking about about Bernie Sanders. The people of Venezuela are enduring a serious humanitarian crisis caused by the United States and Saudi Arabia. Uh, Hey, Jimmy, relax. Why are you putting words in Bernie's mouth? Why are you suggesting that he doesn't know that the United States and Saudi Arabia or Saudi Arabia? How is Saudi Arabia? I don't know about that. Anyway. Uh... You know, you've already had to apologize to The View this morning that I've noticed. I saw that, that video. Why are you ranting about this? Why are you taking one tweet that Bernie made? You, know, you kind of try and say that this one little tweet represents everything that uh, Bernie Sanders thinks about Venezuela. He says the people of Venezuela are turning and during a serious humanitarian crisis which everybody agrees with so you can't argue with that uh, the Maduro government both put the needs of its people first I don't think anybody would argue about that and allow humanitarian aid into the country and if we're gonna just uh, let's just talk about the American humanitarian aid <laughs> Excuse me, but I don't see what the problem is. Why shouldn't... Wh why isn't Bernie right about that? I mean, why shouldn't... Uh, he's telling Maduro, take the aid. Take the food. Take it. Take it and use it to feed your people. I'm sure it's not all that much. And I'm sure if it actually got distributed equally throughout the people that the United States would stop sending it. Yeah, the United States. I'm not... L let's get one thing straight right now. What the United States is doing in South America has nothing to do with the United States. It's a small group. I wouldn't even call it uh, American foreign policy. I would call it a... You know, it's the New World Order. It's people, rich people all around the world. They're their own country. They control the United States. They bought off our politicians. We all know what's going on. But, uh, you know, I mean, basically Bernie's trying to send Maduro a secret message saying, take, take the aid. Take it. You know, as it comes through, have your soldiers grab it and distributed amongst the people, which is what Maduro is guilty of anyway, right? That's his big crime, is that he doesn't, he knows what the Americans or, or the New World Order wants to do with this food. They wanted to use it to bribe the Venezuelan people into overthrowing Maduro. Can you imagine? I mean, they're actually dangling food in front of the Venezuelans' peoples, hoping that they're so hungry, hoping that Maduro's economy uh, is so sabotaged, like, like Jimmy just said, by the United States and Saudi Arabia. I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, it seems like uh, Jimmy Dore's got Saudi Arabia on the mind on the brain and he, he he seems to have a bone to pick with Bernie Sanders every time I turn around he's trying to twist what Bernie Sanders says into something horrible and frankly Jimmy I'm getting sick of it I haven't watched your program I watched it last Saturday because I thought well let's give him another chance but you know if you're just gonna take every uh, minute that you're on the air as an opportunity to uh, promote Tulsi Gabbard or whoever 
whatever loser you're gonna because she's not she's not gonna win it, it's pretty obvious that we're going with Bernie this time around so why I mean I'm not saying that uh, you know you and her and her and your love of, of dictators around the world I mean I, r I really have a problem with uh, what I heard her say the other day on The View. And that is, oh, there's bad people running countries, dictators running countries all around the world. Why should we pick on this one? No, we should pick on all of them. We shouldn't allow American dictators. We shouldn't allow Russian dictators. You know, it's... Uh, Bashir al-Assad's killed at least a half a million of of his own. Well, he, they're not even his, because really what you've got is Sunni Muslims, which are the vast majority of the population, and well, they were in Syria until you wiped out possibly a million of them. When we get done counting, I'll bet it's going to be a million people. Just like when we got done counting in Iraq. It was upwards of a million people that the United States had wiped out. This time it's Russia with their bombing. Might not be as much maybe as as Iraq as we did in Iraq. But it's going to be close. And I'm just saying, I don't care whether it's American-backed dictators or Russian-backed dictators. Uh, I mean... Whatever happened, do you know what it's like to grow up and be taught about how great democracy is and government by the people and then to hit 14 years old, you know, in 1973, 74 and find out that it's all bullshit? <coughs> it's a major disappointment, man. It was a major disappointment for me. And it, it's something that I had to deal with all my life. And, uh, you know, now we're finally getting to a point. You know, if we can get, if Bernie wins in 2020, it's going to make everything that happened in 2016 worth it. Do you understand that, Jimmy? And you're trying to fuck it up. You dumbass piece of shit. I mean, you're not just a dumbass uh, comedian. And I don't even consider you that much of a comedian. You know. <laughs> hey, you're trying to fuck it up, man. Why are you trying to fuck it up? And, and your bullshit is bleeding over onto Chris Kyle. So... My dad, Bernie Sanders, tweeted about Venezuela a couple days ago. And I yeah, uh, Kyle, he isn't your dad. <laughs> I have to say it was pretty disappointing. Now, listen, I don't. I take no pleasure in doing this segment. Um, I yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You take lots of pleasure in doing every segment that you do, and, and you're hoping that everybody will watch it. Well, we're not going to watch you. Not, not not this segment. Kyle, Jimmy, get your shit together. Help us elect Bernie Sanders. I mean, he's not Hillary Clinton. <laughs> you know? I mean, you're treating him like he is Hillary Clinton. He's the opposite. He's the face of the progressive movement right now and it's not going to be Tulsi I mean she's just got too many problems she's got too many skeletons in her closet as a matter of fact Tulsi reminds me of Hillary I mean she was a conservative she was brought up in a and she she wasn't just brought up in a religious conservative environment she embraced it okay I was brought up in a religious conservative environment and I never embraced it never once 
I listened to both sides, thought religion's a joke, conservatism's a joke, the uh, finance, the economics is a sham. You know, I mean, I never really took a side until I, I finally got the whole picture. I was 12, probably, 11, 12, 13, somewhere in there. Uh, I decided I'd g I had enough information. I was like, well, guys, you know, as far as economics, I like communism or something like it. A system that destroys poverty, despo destroys despair, uh, encourages happiness and equality. So, I decided I like communism as a economic model, not as a political model. I didn't embrace Mao or Stalin or anybody like that. As a matter of fact, I've been anti-fascist all my life. I was even brought up that way to hate the Germans, you know, for World War II and stuff. And they tried to make me hate the Russians, but I couldn't understand, you know, the Russians didn't bomb the shit out of London or sink ships and kill Americans. I, I never could quite grasp that, and I, I don't think I should have grasped it. So, uh, so I mean, Kyle, come, come on. What are you doing? Look at that smirky snark face you got on. It's because you know what you're doing is wrong. I mean, he's going to do the same thing. He's going to... He's going to get on Bernie about this one tweet. It's one fucking tweet. What the hell does it have to do with Bernie? I mean, don't you think that if you're going to quote Bernie, that you should get a little bit fuller? And, and the only person I know who's done that is this guy. Bernie Sanders is receiving criticism from the left on his position on Venezuela. And I think a lot of it stems from this tweet that I agree isn't very good. So, last week he tweeted this out. The people of Venezuela are enduring a serious humanitarian crisis. The Maduro government must put the needs of its people first, allow humanitarian aid into the country, and refrain from violence against protests. Now, on the face of it, if you're not following what's happening in Venezuela, this tweet may not seem like anything to you. But the problem with this tweet is that it assumes a lot. It assumes that the Maduro government is closing its borders to American humanitarian aid because they don't want to help their people. It assumes that uh, there is violence directed at protesters from the Maduro government. Now, look, some of that reporting, it's, it's unclear uh, exactly what's going on in terms of the, the protests. But in terms of the humanitarian aid, so... There are two positions on this. One view thinks that uh, Bernie supports regime change in Venezuela now because he wants humanitarian aid into Venezuela. I think if you look at Bernie's history on this issue and what he's recently said about regime change in Venezuela, that idea is ridiculous. Bernie does not support regime change in Venezuela. The other side, though, this is where uh, my critique of this tweet. This assumes... Uh, it's just... <laughs> It's completely irrational. So, the idea that Maduro, who is currently, the U.S. is trying, uh, currently trying to overthrow the Maduro government in Venezuela. Why the hell would Maduro allow the U.S. to come into his country to give aid to his people when Americans, the American government is currently trying to overthrow him? It's like, imagine Russia was trying to send aid to Flint, Michigan. Do you think the Americans, U.S. government, would allow Russia to come through the U.S. border to give aid to Flint? Hell no. So, you can't expect the Maduro... So, at least a Canadian can see the obvious, right? I mean, 
Bernie went down during the uh, Iran-Contra. Bernie went down to Nicaragua to find out what was really going on. Now a guy who goes down to Nicaragua to give the Sandinistas a chance to, you know, share their point of view with him. Is he really going to support an American invasion of uh, and, and coup in Venezuela? No. That's nonsense. Like, like uh, David is saying here. You know, give the history, Bernie's history, as fighting for what's right. And he has always figured out what's right and fought for it. Even though he's a Jew and I think he's got dual citizenship with Israel. He's, uh, he's for Palestine, for, for, you know, he's for like, uh, he's very pro-Palestinian. I mean, compared to somebody like Hillary Clinton or uh, a lot of the other people, a lot of the other people who, you know, establishment Democrats. So I guess it takes a Canadian to give Bernie a fair shake. And he's trying to, uh, he's doing his best to make an argument. You know, why would the Maduro government accept the aid? Well, why not? Why not take the aid? Okay, now I'm playing devil's advocate here. I'm going to tell you why Maduro doesn't take the aid. And it's a lot more sinister than what David Dole is talking about. And Bernie is trying to figure out a way around this. But the reason they won't take the aid is because the United States and again it's not the United States it's the New World Order okay is what it is so the New World Order is trying to overthrow Maduro can't stand the fact that there's a little tiny piece of South America that they can't have right the way that they want to uh, overthrow Venezuela <coughs> is to get their foot in the door on the border with uh, Brazil, which is a fascist, w they've overthrown their Maduros, they've overthrown Lula, they've got him stuck in a jail for something he didn't do. <laughs> a beach house. Give me a break. Uh, they've got, uh, they've, they've overthrown the popular government there and they're instituting uh, the same kind of bullshit propaganda as mainstream media has here their only hope is that maybe they can get through to the people on the internet Colombia narco terrorists uh, we've poured literally billions of dollars into Colombia keeping the people from having a, a their own media and their own because I mean the two go hand in hand right the New World Order uses the media and all the other shit side by side right I mean it needs the media to convince the people to support uh, evil right So what do they do? What do they do in, in on the Colombia Venezuela border? What's really going on? Okay, they try and make the humanitarian crisis. They try and make the food crisis in Venezuela so bad so that they can take if they can get that food across the border but still be in control of it then they can actually bribe hungry people. I mean, food is 
I mean, you can hand people dollars, they can't eat dollars. So food is a lot more effective if the people are hungry. So I mean, if they're really hungry, if they're really going without food and they're hungry, all you gotta do is get that food across the border, no matter how little of it it is, because it's a drop in the bucket compared to what's coming in from Russia and anywhere else. But if you can get it across the border in and Guido, Guido, he sounds like a fucking Italian mafia guy, right? Guido. So if you can get it across the border and 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 you can have and Guido's in control of distributing it. Obviously, you can do two things. One, you can feed who you want, and you can bribe it, use it to bribe the people you want to bribe. So obviously, that's what they're going to do, right? They're going to they're going to feed their own people. So this is a racist thing. They're going to feed white people is really what it comes down to it, or light brown people. Uh, they're going to feed their own people. Now, they're also going to use, use it to try to bribe the Chavistas, right? The Chavez supporters, the Maduro. And they're going to try and bribe the vast majority of because that's how we have the elected government in, in Venezuela. Because the vast majority of people are, are brown and they su support. And everybody I've talked to says the same thing. Or listen to. Because it's not like I have a lot of connections in South America or anything or anybody talks to me any more about this foreign policy stuff anyway. I'm talking mostly Bernie supporters and we're mostly about domestic policy. So everybody that I've listened to says the same thing. Uh, and, and that's that uh, okay I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Well, it was going to be good. Anyway, so one of my main points here is that, uh, you know, you, you're criticizing Bernie on foreign policy, and everybody is. Everybody's, you know, getting on him about this tweet. And it's, first of all, the tweet is nothing. I mean, yes, he should refrain from violence against protesters. You know, everything that Bernie says in here is right. He should take American aid. Uh, but the main thing is, is that they're trying to get the aid across past the... See, I'm pretty sure, because it just makes sense, that... Maduro or the elected government of Venezuela has told Colombia and the United S and the New World Order. I'm not going to call it the United States because that implies me. You know, it's it's a bunch of fascists in the United States, like the Bushes and and stuff. I'm sure that Maduro's told them, sure, we'll take the the food. You can keep your guns. We have plenty of guns. Because <laughs> they did try and sneak guns in with the food, right? I mean, we all know about that. Uh, but we'll take the food. You just have to give it to us. You have to all aid. I mean, this would be the same anywhere in the world. Except for where you have American dictators. Or Americans themselves. Anywhere in the world, if you sent 
food aid into the country. The elected government would take control of that aid on the border and bring it in and distribute it. Or they would bring in trusted NGOs, non-governmental organizations, to distribute it fairly. They wouldn't allow fucking Colombian narco-terrorists to bring food into the country and get together with Guido <laughs> and distribute it the way he wants to distribute it. There's just no fucking way. And, uh, like uh, David was saying, you know, would we let them do that here? Would we let the Rus Russians and Chinese uh, come into the country and get together with all their supporters and uh, buy off as many Americans as they as they could? There's no fucking way. <laughs> and that's exactly what they want. That's why they insist on bringing the stuff over the border and controlling the stuff once they're across the border. You know, and I think Bernie Sanders is trying to send a message to Maduro that he can have the aid that will arrange, because maybe Bernie Sanders is thinking I can arrange through Congress to make sure that we give it to the Venezuelan government or their NGOs and that it gets distributed. I mean, you don't know what this tweet really means. It might be a message to Maduro. I, it is a message to Maduro. He says the Maduro government. So he's trying to tell Maduro to take the aid. And he obviously, you know, these guys, Kyle and fucking dipshit D Jimmy are making all these assumptions. Well, I'm going to make an assumption right here. I'm going to say that what Bernie Sanders is really saying is, is take the aid. And obviously, if he's saying take the aid, he's saying, you know, we will arrange for you to get the aid. I mean, the way that the aid's trying to be pushed, they're just trying to, they just tried to push the the aid across the border, and then they tried to use it as a false flag o operation. And, and by the way, the, there's video. I mean, the uh, what happened at the border that I saw was two Guido guys in the uh, Venezuelan National Army stole two uh, big vehicles from uh, the defense forces uh, ran them into the Venezuelan side jumped out and ran across the border across the bridge into Colombia then the Colombians the narco terrorists took the food aid trucks and uh, drove them up the, the bridge a little ways and then set them on fire. And Russian television has video of them. Uh, you know, there's proof. There's There were tons of witnesses. Uh, actually, Russian television was on the ground in Colombia. I mean, it's not very often that the fucking right-wing fascists are stupid enough to allow uh journalists on the ground to videotape the whole thing but they then they then they lit the trucks on fire <laughs> like thinking that they could somehow blame it on on uh on Venezuela I mean what a what a fucking mess and poor Venezuela the only thing that I really makes me feel good is that the Venezuelans do have a government that is looking out for its interests one way or another. Guess what though? Uh, Bernie Sanders is also looking out for their interest and he's not saying anything in this one little tweet. 
that says that he's not. This one little tweet does not in any way represent some kind of, I mean, look what Jimmy Dore says. Uh, Jimmy Dore is such an asshole. States in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia? What the fuck does Saudi Arabia have to do with it? Bernie, if you have... I mean, give give it up, man. Evidence that they're not, would you share it with us? Or are you just repeating stuff that Elliot Abrams and John Bolton say? That... Elliot Abrams and John Bolton say we want the oil under the ground in Venezuela. I mean, they just come right out and say it. Have you heard... Have you heard Bernie Sanders say anything like that? Jimmy, Jimmy, you're really going to put Elliot Abrams and John Bolton's words in Bernie's mouth? That's what Bernie's doing. Uh, allow humanitarian aid into the country. You know that's how they put fucking drug, uh, uh, guns and weapons into the country, Bernie? You know that's, that's, the, that's what Elliot Abrams already did? You know the... Man, trying to uh, enjoin Bernie Sanders, Sanders and Elliot Abrams at the hip is just stupid. And you look stupid, Jimmy. The guy who started a genocide, did a genocide. You know what I'm talking about, Bernie? So you don't fucking know any of this stuff, Bernie? Does Bernie really not know this? Does his advisors really not know this? Or is this the Faustian bargain they've made for Bernie being able to talk about the minimum wage and Medicare for all? Really? Really, Jimmy, you're going to accuse Bernie of being a neo-fascist uh, sympathizer or willing to cut a deal with neo-fascists? Really? You know, Jimmy, you need to Start working on your uh, your apology to Bernie, because Bernie isn't just some chick from the View. Bernie is the guy who represents people like me, and we know he's not any of the things you've just said. I mean, Jimmy, I've had it with you. Fuck Jimmy. Jimmy's a fucking dick. I've had it with him. Him and his his bullshit. You know? He's looking to... I don't know what he's looking for. Maybe get some pussy? I don't know. You know, that's, what, that's what's usually behind anything that a man does. Especially the stupidity. The massive stupidity. And I've had it with him. I've had it with him. And uh, Kyle, I'm not going to let you off the hook either. Uh, David Dole, at least you're a lot better than they are. But I, I've had it with them. I've had it with Jimmy. Just like I got fed up with the. Uh, the Young Turks with uh, Cenk Uger when he took 21 million dollars from uh, what's his name the guy who ran Hillary Clinton's campaign ah. well you really think that uh, I'm gonna watch you so I uh, so I'm done I'm done with you I, I, I'm uh, I will Keep track of your stuff, and when you support Bernie and apologize to Bernie, I'll uh, I'll post that as part of my uh, my news. I every week, uh, every day, I post the stuff and see how I posted this. But I'm not posting your anti-Bernie bullshit anymore. So this is Martin Drummond with Progressive Democratic Democratic Party Headquarters News. Uh, I'm a little pissed off. <laughs> I'll get over it, don't worry. So um, y'all have a nice day. <laughs>